Hello my YouTube friends! Streamlabs has a new OBS plugin. Yes, you heard me right, I said Streamlabs has an OBS plugin. Now I do realize that Streamlabs has made a mistake or two in the past and really upset some OBS users. But that was a long time ago and I think it's time to take another look. So today, I'm going to tell you all about Streamlabs new OBS plugin. We have a lot to get to so you know what? Let's get to it! There were always ways to use Streamlabs tools in OBS, but it was never very easy. The plugin makes these tools easily accessible to any user in OBS. And it's about time because the tools that Streamlabs offers are some of the best available. Streamlabs' relationship with OBS has changed significantly in the past few years, and they work very closely with them now which is how they were able to develop the plugin. I'm here to inform you about tools that can help make your live streams better, and Streamlabs makes some great tools for live streamers. And the plugin makes them easy to use in OBS. Let me show you how it works. To install the plugin, we see the page right here, and there are links down below in the description so you can get here. And you can see at the top, this is kind of a red flag for some people, it says semi-free. So let me explain exactly what is free and what's not free. The plugin's totally free. You're never going to be charged to install it or anything like that. However, there are some features that you can include in the plugin, like the ability to multi-stream. And there is a program that Streamlabs uses called Ultra, which gives you access to thousands of premium overlays and things like that. So these overlays are awesome, but they're never anything that you have to pay for. So you're safe to install this and not have to worry about it. And if you do decide that you find a uh, overlay on there that you want, well, you have the option to get it. So that's what semi-free means. It means it's basically free, but there are some things that you can opt to pay for if you want. So all you have to do is click go to downloads and it's gonna bring you to this page right here. And all we have to do is download the plugin. You can see it goes up to our little thingy here and we're just going to bring up our downloads page and what we're going to do is go ahead and double click this now i am running obs to record this so this could give us a problem but we're going to see you're going to come up to a prompt that you can't see because it's an administrative prompt but just click yes and then you're just going to want to click next and this doesn't point to your obs instance it's just a location where it installs the plugin so you could just click install, it doesn't really matter. And bada bing, it's gonna put it on there. Do you already have OBS installed? I'm gonna click yes, and please restart any instances of OBS Studio. And click okay and finish. So now let's see if this installed on our OBS. So when you start up your OBS again, you're gonna get a couple of things that look different. You're gonna have this box that pops up, and you're going to obviously have, uh, this is the Streamlabs recent, which is going to show you all of the most recent things that happened on your stream, like donations and subscriptions and that sort of thing. And then you're going to have your Streamlabs chat over here, which is just going to be any chat for your live stream. Then you're going to get this box over here. And needless to say, you are going to have to have a Streamlabs account in order for you to be able to use this. But you'll understand why that's no big deal and all that kind of stuff pretty quickly. We're just gonna go ahead and log in to get started and it's gonna take us to our web page. And we're gonna go ahead and log in with YouTube and allow, and there we go, we're gonna be logged in. And it says you've signed in, so you can close that window. And so here we go. Now we've got all of this stuff. See, so it comes right up to add an overlay. So you can choose an overlay that you wanna add or something like that. We're just gonna skip on that. It's gonna ask you to set up tipping. This is really nice and I already have this all set up on my account, but you may not if you don't have an account with Streamlabs. So what this means is you're gonna tell it what your PayPal email address is. 
so that when you set up your tip donators and everything, it knows where to put the money. Now, Streamlabs doesn't take any money from this. All the money goes directly to you. So the widget will come up and say, hey, so-and-so gave you a tip, and that money goes directly into your PayPal account. The only fee is whatever PayPal charges. Streamlabs takes absolutely nothing from any of this. I'm just gonna continue, and it tells you right here that it's free, which, of course, like I said, multi-stream is not included and the more premium tools, which is overlays and stuff. Some of the overlays are free even, but some are not. You can just go ahead and exit out of here and you have access to all of the widgets, which is what we're really looking for. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here and I'm just gonna close out the recent events and the Streamlabs chat. But if I wanted to bring that stuff back up again, I can do that by going to docs bring up recent events and go into docs and bring it up the chat so they can be added anytime you want. And in order to bring up the Streamlabs window that we had, we just click right here and we can bring it up really easy. And the main thing we're gonna be interested in is widgets. So let's say we wanted to add an alert box that was gonna pop up when we do our super chats or any kind of donations or tips or members or anything. Well, we can go ahead and just add that and you'll see right down here in the scene that we have selected, it adds an alert box right here. So we can go into that alert box by clicking on settings. What it's gonna do is bring up a window from the web browser into the settings for our alert box. And we could see over here, we've got our YouTube alerts, which is a subscriber, member, and super chat. Then we've got the tip alert we can add right here. And these boxes are for the settings on the alert. So let's just go into the YouTube ones. We'll go into super chat. And you can see that you've got your image here. You can go and modify these any way you want. You can modify the audio, the actual little GIF event. Here's the sound event. You can change the fonts. You could change your super chat message settings. You can see right here, the font, the font size, all that other stuff. You could change it all up. Now we've got a preview box here and we can preview any of the stuff. So right now we'll go ahead and preview that. And so that's our super chat alert. It gives you the information right there. And if we wanted to see how this was gonna show up in OBS, we can click test right here and we can go to YouTube and Super Chats, and then we could flip over, and we could see how that shows up in our OBS. It's that simple to add the alert system into your OBS. And we can go in here and go to Members, which I have a custom alert in here. We can change the text, the font, the sound, all that sort of stuff we can modify, and of course, subscribers as well. We can do the tip system. We can add variations on the tip system. So if you want to see what that looks like, there's a preview of it, brings the name up. That's what it's going to look like in that little test box right here on your live stream. And it happens just by adding the alert box in there. We can actually test this right here. So if we go right here to test events and we can go to uh, Streamlabs tip and boom. There we go. We've tested the event. Now the only thing you might want to do is you notice when I played that event, we didn't get anything in the audio mixer. So you can right click on the alert box, go to properties and go to control via OBS, click OK. And now we've got an alert box audio message thing there. So if we go back over here, we'll just move this over, go to test events and we'll go to tip. Now we can see it right there and we can adjust the audio as we see fit and we can move this alert anywhere on the screen that we want. So that's the alert box, makes it super easy to add it in here, but there are so many other widgets. There's the event list and the chat box. So if we wanted to add chat to our system, all we have to do is click the plus and we've got the chat is added. So here is the chat box. When we select it, we can move it wherever we want. We can modify it, so let's say we go into properties. Right now it's 800 by 600. We want it 800 by 1080. So it takes up that whole section of the screen there. You do that and now we've got our text box over here and we can go in here to the settings and modify what our text event is gonna look like. So it's gonna give you the ability to select the different types of text. So we can get it boxed, it will look like that. 
we could get it clean. It will look like that. You get your Twitch, you get your old school, you get your chunky, and you can go through here and change the way that these messages appear. And then when you are live, that chat's gonna show up right here on your screen over top just by simply adding the chat box. And you can remove the chat box just by right clicking and going to remove. So it makes it super easy to do with this little window that will pop up anytime we want just by clicking there. We've added the chat box. So we can add an event list on our screen, which is basically the same as the chat box or the event list that you could put over here as a doc, your follower goal, your view count. So we can add a viewer count right here and we can place this anywhere we want on the screen and this will be the viewers for whatever platform you're streaming on. And very, very cool stuff. If we go in here and we go to our viewer count, we can select the font and the streams that are enabled. If we have multiple streams enabled, we can check those as well and they will appear in the box. Let's go back in here. End credits, one of my favorite things. So you can add credits that roll at the end of the scene. You could go into settings. When you add your end credits, you can see the different types of test credits you can have. Bubbly, the crawl, and it will read off the number of people who subscribed, the new members that you got, the new super chats, any kind of tips. It will read all those off. It'll just scroll past and it will do it over and over again. I, I love this feature. This is the perfect one to put on an end screen. I think is awesome to acknowledge the people that contribute to your live stream. And now you can add it into your live stream in two seconds just by going in here and selecting end credits add and boom your end credits are now in here you can make them full screen you can do whatever you want game widgets very cool stuff you can add polls you can add a chat box or the wheel spin the emote wall is another cool one basically any emotes that people type in chat will kind of fly around these are the widgets that you're going to see now another cool one is the stream labels and i love this we can add a stream label and you select from what stream labels you want so let's say that we want to add our top session donator in other words the person who donated the most money in this session um, I personally like to do the last donation. I think that one works best because it acknowledges the last person that donated. And you can see, it just puts a box on the screen and then you can create another piece of text that says last donation. Then you can go and add more labels. So as you can see, there are all kinds of categories that you can add to donate or tip or anything like that. And now this makes adding stream labels super easy. And I love the fact that it already does all this. So it's labeled, you know exactly what it is. If you wanted to hide it, you can easily hide it. And of course you could just right click and remove it. So this basically adds stream labels. You do have your tipping stuff in here so you can set it up in case you didn't do it at the beginning. They also have Stripe as well. And then, of course, down here, you've got multi-stream, and you can turn on or off any of the platforms that you want to stream to. And, of course, this is a paid thing, so just be aware. Basically, by adding this plugin, you get access to all the widgets, some free overlays, some awesome widget themes, of course, the stream labels, the cloud bot, and the tipping stuff. It's really a fantastic app that gives you all the control that you could possibly ever want for alerts and donations and all that sort of stuff right here. And it's more than just alerts. Like I said, the end screen crawl that recognizes all the people that participated in your live stream with donations, tips, or subscribes. Man, how cool is it that you can recognize those folks just by a 30 seconds that it takes to add that into your stream. I told you it was easy. In fact, there really isn't an easier way to add alerts and other widgets directly to your live stream for OBS. Now I work really hard to try to create content that I think you're gonna like. Sometimes I hit and sometimes I miss, but it's really hard to know. And that's where you can really help me out. 
If you're enjoying this video, please do me a favor and leave me a thumbs up. And if it's not your thing, it's just fine to leave me a thumbs down. If everyone watching this video just took a second to leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down, it would basically tell me exactly the direction to take my content. So go ahead and click one of those. Thank you so much. Let's get back to the video. They also have busloads of animated overlays that you can use. Some are free and others are part of the paid ultra package. So if you're looking for the perfect overlay for your stream, maybe have a look. What do you think about the Streamlabs plugin? Let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see how you can create your own animated overlays using free AI tools, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.